Welcome to this YSL Report Builder tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover how to create Boolean query parameters. We'll start by looking at how to create a basic query parameter and then convert the corresponding report parameters data type to a Boolean. We'll then explain how you can compare Boolean values from the report with bit values in your SQL query, and also how you can compare the results of a Boolean expression in SQL with the value of a parameter. So let's get started. Here's an example of the type of parameter we're going to create in this video. This report has two Boolean parameters, one which allows us to select to see Oscar winning films and non Oscar winning films by selecting true or false, and a similar system to show films which have made a profit and those which haven't. Choosing different combinations of options will result in different output in the table, and we can switch between those fairly quickly and easily to show the various combinations. The parameters are both made optional as well. So if I were to select null for the winner parameter, that will show us a combination of both Oscar winners and non Oscar winners. And similarly for the profitable parameter, it shows us combinations of films which are profitable and those which aren't. If you want to follow along with the video, you will need a copy of the YSL Movies database. And just a quick reminder that you can use this video to help you get it set up if you don't already have it. There's a link in that description of the video to download the file that you'll need. If you have done that already, then I've got a blank report waiting for me in Report Builder. And the first thing I'll do in here is create a data source to connect to that Movies database. I'll call this one Movies, as I usually do. And then I'll choose to use an embedded connection connecting to Microsoft SQL Server and then hit the build button so that I can type in my um, connection string or part of my connection string. I'll start with dot backslash as a shortcut to the local host and then SQL 2017, which is the name of the instance of SQL Server that I'm using. From here, I can select my movies database from the drop down list, click OK a couple of times, and there's my data source created. From here, I'm going to right click on the movies data source and choose to add a data set to it. I'll call this one films, and then I'll use the query designer to pick the columns I need. From the tables folder, I'll expand the film table. I'll select the title, the budget dollars, box office dollars and Oscar wins. I also want to make sure that I see only films which have both a budget and a box office value filled in. There are quite a few missing values in those two columns. So I'm going to add a couple of filters to the data set. I'll hit the add filter button and check that the budget dollars is not null. And likewise, add a second filter to see where the box office dollars is not null. Having done that, I can click OK a couple of times and there's my data set created. And finally, for the basic setup, I'm going to get rid of the page footer get rid of the placeholder title text box, pop a simple table into the report to display the values I've selected. So I'll go for title, budget dollars, box office dollars, and then I'll drag the Oscar wins column into the right hand side, change the column widths, just to make sure I don't encounter the font rendering bug, which sometimes hides the text that should be displayed. I'm going to highlight all the cells in the table, switch away from the default font and then back to it and then just some basic background coloring for the header row. Run the report just to check that it looks sensible at this point. And there's the basic report set up. Next, I'd like to create a query parameter which will filter the results to show the Oscar winners or the Oscar non winners. So I'll head back to the design view and then I'm going to right click on my films data set, which I've just realized I've misspelt. So I'm just going to correct that. So it's going to be called films, not for films. And then in my where clause, I'm going to add a, a, an extra criterion. So I'm going to head down to the next line and say and. And then I'm going to check that the f uh, film dot Oscar wins equals and then I'm going to make up the name of the parameter I want to use. I'm going to call this one at show winners. Having done that, I'm going to click OK. I'll see my new parameter has appeared. I can click the run button at that point. And just to show you that I can type in, for example, the number one to see films with one Oscar win or zero for films with no Oscar wins or any other number that I like as well to highlight films with those specific numbers of Oscars. 
Now I'd like to convert this parameter into a Boolean parameter. So I can do that by heading back to the design view, and then I can modify the properties of the report parameter that's been created for me. So I can double click on the show winners parameter and then set its data type to Boolean. That means that when I click OK in the report parameter, I can select the values true and false. If I select true and then view the report, you'll see that I return a list of films where the Oscar wins is equal to one. If I hit the false option and click view report, I'm going to show all the films where the Oscar wins equals zero. So when a true false Boolean value gets passed back to a query parameter in SQL, the value gets converted into the values one for true and zero for false. What I'd really like to do, however, is if I select true, I want to show the films that have won any number of Oscars, one, two, whatever the maximum number happens to be. We can cheat with this a little bit by converting the value of the Oscar wins field into a data type of bit. Just to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to head over to SQL Server Management Studio and I've written a simple select statement which will show the title Oscar wins and then the Oscar wins as a bit. A bit is a data type which can hold only the values one or zero. You can't return Boolean values in a select statement in SQL, but you can return them as a bit. So if I were to click execute here, you'll see that anywhere where the Oscar wins value is not zero, it becomes one. Where it is zero, it remains as zero. So every other number becomes one. So what we can then do is back in our report builder report, back in the design view, we can right click the film's data set and choose data set properties. And then rather than checking just the raw value of the Oscar wins column, I want to convert or cast that as a bit. So I'll just zoom in so you can see this a little more clearly. Uh, just after the AND operator, I'm going to type in the cast function, film.oscarwins as bit. I can then close the round brackets and then I can click OK. And then if I run the report, I can choose true to show all the films where the Oscar wins is one or more or anything other than zero, basically. And then choose false to show all the films where the Oscar wins equals zero. Next, I'd like to make this parameter optional by allowing a null value. So I can head back to the design view go back to the properties of the report parameter by double clicking on it and simply tick the box to allow a null value. When I click OK, I can run the report just to test that that's working and I'll see that the parameter is set to a null automatically, but when it's set to null, I don't see any results in the report whatsoever because there are no Oscar wins values in the data set uh, that are equal to a value of null. I want to rewrite my query or my where clause to check if this parameter has a null rather than comparing it against the value true or false. So back in the design view, I can right click on my film's data set and choose data set properties. And then in the criterion that I've written for my parameter, I'm going to click just after the and operator, open up some round brackets. And then at the end of that expression, so write the or operator and check or at show winners is null. I can then close the round brackets. So if either of these two conditions are true, so if the value of the converted Oscar wins as a bit is equal to the show winners option, either true or false, or the show winners option, the show winners parameter is set to null. If either of those two conditions are true for a single row, that row will be returned. So if I click OK and then run the report, we will see that when the option is set to null, I see both winners and losers. If I uncheck the null box and select false, it's just the losers. Select true, it's just the winners. Next, I'd like to create another parameter which allows me to select between profitable and non-profitable films. And that's a little trickier because I'm not just going to be comparing the value of a parameter directly against the value of a column. 
In order to do this, I need to establish whether the box office dollars is greater than the budget dollars, return a result from that comparison, and then compare the result of that comparison with the value of my parameter. That's a little tricky to do in SQL because I can't just write a simple Boolean expression and compare it directly against another value. You may remember from the previous video that in report, um, report dataset filters, we can just write a simple Boolean expression and then check if it's equal to true or false. But I can't do that in SQL, just to demonstrate what I mean by that. Uh, in order to make this work, I'm going to have to add a WHERE clause, which is going to ask if the result of comparing the budget to the box office. So I'm going to check if the box office dollars is greater than the budget dollars. And then I need to be able to compare that to see if it's equal to the value of my parameter. So imagine my parameter had a value of one, I'd chosen true. You'll see with the syntax checker there, that syntax is incorrect. I can't directly compare the result of a simple logical expression against another value like so. What I can do is wrap this logical expression up in another expression, which then returns the value one or zero. So I can do this in SQL either by using a case expression, or I can do it using a simple if function. Just to demonstrate the principle, I can say if, or if I should say, box office dollars greater than budget dollars, then return the value of one, otherwise return the value of zero. And then if the result of that expression equals one, then return the result. And of course, we'll be replacing the value of one with the value of whatever we've selected in our parameter. So to put all that into practice in Report Builder, let's head back to the design view. And then let's go back to the film's dataset properties. And then we can add an extra line at the end of the uh, query and we can add in a new logical test. So I'll start by saying AND. I'm going to wrap this up in a set of round brackets. I'll need to do this eventually anyway to make it an optional parameter, so I might as well do that now. And then I'm going to use my IF function as I've just demonstrated in SQL Server Management Studio. So IF, open and close some round brackets. I'm going to check if the box office dollars is greater than the budget dollars. I'm just going to copy and paste these to avoid the potential of mistyping them. I then want to return the value of one if that is true. So I'm essentially saying the value of, is one if the film is profitable. And I'm using the value zero if the film isn't profitable. Then I want to check if that is equal to the name of my parameter, which I haven't yet created. So I'm going to make up a new parameter name at show profitable. So having done that, if I now click OK, I will have my new Boolean, oh sorry, my new parameter has been created. It's not a Boolean parameter yet. So I'm going to make it a Boolean parameter by double clicking on it to view its properties, set its data type to Boolean, and then click OK. So I can now run the report. And if I choose to show the profitable films by selecting true, the results will show me all the films where the box office is greater than the budget. And if I do the opposite of that by choosing false, it'll show me all those where the box office is not greater than the budget. The final step then is to make this an optional parameter. And to do that is exactly the same process we went through for the winners parameter. Let's head back to the design view and I'm going to go to the properties of my profitable parameter and then set the allow null value option on. Then I can click OK. And of course, that means I need to add something extra to the filter in my WHERE clause of my dataset. So I can right click on the film's dataset and choose dataset properties. And then at the end of the current expression, just inside the round brackets, I can say OR at show profitable is null. So if either of those two conditions have been met, for an individual row, that row will be returned to the data set. So I can click OK and I can run the report and I'll see that as both options are set to null, then essentially every single row is returned because they're checking that the, uh, the show winners parameter is null, yep, and the show profitable parameter is null and that condition evaluates to true for every single row. But I can now mix and match to show the 
the non-profitable Oscar winners, for example, and any other combination that I like just by selecting the relevant options. So there we go, that's how you deal with Boolean parameters in a simple way in your SQL queries. Hope you found that one useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.